you guys what's up so I'm not on camera today because I am really sick and you guys can probably hear it in my voice so I just wanted to go over my makeup basket this way um I haven't really changed a lot of the items I'm sorry I'm holding my camera today too instead of like having it on the tripod I don't really change out my items too much so sometimes I feel bad for posting these videos like if you guys are getting sick of seeing them or if there's some other way that you think I can improve on you know the products that I'm using let me know um, usually they're the same because I'm doing a lot of project pans and it helps me to like focus on the item and then like complete it so I don't like to add too much other in my weekly makeup basket because if I do then I won't reach for the products I'm supposed to be using does that make sense okay so let's just go over this side oh by the way this box I got from Joanne fabrics it was like six dollars with a back to school sale so this is like really really cool it's got different sections in it so for my eyes I have this Laura Geller eyeshadow and this one is in uh, smoky quartz so, sorry, I have to try to open everything with one hand. This is Smoky Quartz. It's really, really pretty, really, really shimmery. And I thought it would go nice with my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. And I thought these together would be nice so there's that I also have my Lorac Pro palette and there's that for my bronzer actually before we talk about bronzer um, I have another bronzer here this one is from Tarte. I hate this one. It's called Park Avenue Princess. If you can see it there at the bottom. I don't like it because like the color is horrible for my skin. It is like my skin tone just about. So I was thinking about using for my eyes, seeing how that turns out. Um, this is the actual bronzer I'm going to be using. The Rock Take Me to San Diego and that's what that looks like I also have my Lorac luster drops these are in diamond and I don't have too much of that left you guys as you can see so I think this will be really nice to try to work on and finish up um, I have some eyelash grippers or whatever you call them I don't even know where I got these from but um yeah, they just help you pick up your false lashes and put them on. This is my Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. I have my Lady Gaga lipstick in here. And that's what this looks like. A really nice nude. And then... This is the liner I've been using with that. It's from NYX and it is called Ever. See it? And that is Ever. Um, this is just a black eyeliner from L'Oreal that I have been using. I have my Skin by Dimitri eyeliner. This one is almost gone, you guys. I have so little left. That's all I have left. So. And then I have been putting this down as my base. This is from Urban Decay. It's their 24 hour shadow pencils. And this one is in Juju. And I put this down and I've been using this as the liner over the top this is my brow wiz by Anastasia and then I have my Milani um, 
like highlighter pencil I use this underneath my brows to just kind of highlight the brow area make it look more arched and then this is just a loose pigment that literally there's that much so I'm trying to work on that I have not been using it which is why it's in here um, I took all the other pigments out so let's move to this category over here I just have a foundation that I need to finish it if you guys can see there's like one application this is the Lancome Tint Adole in 450 Suede. So there's that. I have my Ben Nye Final Seal. I have not used this yet. I will let you know how I like it. And this is, it's a matte makeup sealer. I don't know if you guys can read it because maybe now you can read it. It says matte makeup sealer at the bottom. I have this Better Skin Concealer. This is by Maybelline and the color is in Medium Deep. And my camera's having a hard time focusing because of the background, but it's in Medium Deep. Here are my two blushes, my Clinique blush and my MAC Super Duper Natural blush. I have a concealer palette here from Hard Candy and this orange one I use like on my pigmentation and these I mix to kind of get like my actual concealer color. Then I have my highlighter which is my MAC blush. This could be a blush topper too which I'll probably use it for. And this is in Trace Gold. Trace Gold is a sheer tone shimmer blush. I love Trace Gold. If you've been following me for a long time you know I love Trace Gold. And I have not pulled this out in quite some time. This is what that looks like. So, so pretty. This is the powder that I will be setting my face with. This is my MAC Studio Fix Plus Powder in NC45. I'm going to try to turn the light up a little get the other light too. Hold on. There we go. And that's all that I have left. This is taking a really long time though. I also have this hourglass um, radiant light. This one is in radiant light. And what I'm going to do with this is once my face is all done and I have like my contour, my blush, my highlighter, everything like that to just blend it out together, I'm going to use Radiant Light because number one, it is color, it's super, super soft, it's a mineral powder and Goss Makeup Artist, he says to try this and it does like completely make your face look flawless. And then for my, I have to have like an oil absorbing powder. This is like the one thing I carry in my makeup bag to work. And this is the one I've been working on for so long. You guys see that? That's all I have left. Like this Clinique powder is no joke. Like you buy one and it should last you a year. Like if that's all you're doing is just touch it up with your face. It's lasted me for several years. So here's the Bobbi Brown concealer. And I use this to like go over the top of my brows once I get them done. And I go over the under part of my brows with the hard candy because it's a little bit lighter. So see here? One is lighter than the other. So that's that. This is um, a limited edition product from MAC. It came out a few years ago. And this is their To The Beach Body Oil. And it's just a gold shimmer. And I'm going to try to put it like in my lotion when I'm getting ready so I'll be bronzy shimmery all over what I hate about this oil is it gets all over your hands and your hands are literally gold shimmer um, this is just a wax pencil by Milani use it for my brows here is my MAC bamboo eyeshadow and also my urban decay shadow in beware which I am using in my 13 by Halloween, which I have to get that video out for you guys. Here is my 
Ben Nye banana powder mixed with some tart Amazonian clay powder. And I just put it in my own little container. This container's from the body shop. Um, I got like a sample or something years back and I'm just reusing it. So there's about half of a container full in there. This is my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Dark Brown, always inside of my weekly makeup basket. Here is my Watts Up highlighter from Benefit. I also always throw in my Maybelline um, gel eyeliner, but I hardly have been using this because I've been so in love with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner that I have not reached for that one in a long time. But this one is not in my weekly makeup basket this time. I, I didn't even include it, so... Here are two other foundation samples from Estee Lauder. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I've just been working on those ever so slightly because they take a while. Like those little tiny samples that they give you, no joke, take a good time to finish, you guys. I'm just putting this stuff back. And here is the last quadrant. So I have a couple mascaras. This is the NYX color mascara and it's in I don't know oh blue blue okay and then finishing up what's left of my mega plush and then I will start on my Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof which I'll tell you guys how I like this this is my setting spray the NYX dewy finish setting spray and then I have to have my NYX foundation mixer. And this one is in warm. Here is my face primer from Rimmel. The lasting finish. And for foundation, I have three. This is all that's left. You see that? Of my Urban Decay Naked Skin. Basically where my sticker is, is how much I have. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. I said I was going to use this last time. I didn't, so I'm going to try again. And if I don't use it, then I'm going to get rid of it. Here is the foundation in my Project Pan. The CoverGirl Stay Luminous. Luminous, And I have not been using this, even though I do love it. Um, because I have been trying to finish up my Urban Decay Naked Skin. Here is a gloss that I like to put over this lipstick from Lady Gaga with the lip liner and this is a matte cream sheen glass and the color is going casual so there's that and then I just have my bite agave lip mask and that is all of the products that are going to be in my weekly makeup basket so I hope you guys enjoy watching this um, gonna try to put everything back neatly now let me know um, like I said if there's anything that you want me to do to change up how I am using the products and I will and until next time I'll see you guys then bye